Learn Abacus at Home, Step-by-Step -step Abacus Tutorials. This lesson is an introduction to the abacus terminology we'll be using in all our lessons here at Learn Abacus at Home. Now, when you first get an abacus, you'll notice that all the beads on the abacus move. Don't worry, it's not broken. That's how it's supposed to be. And that's why you need a flat surface when working with an abacus. In its correct position, the lower deck with the four beads should be pointing towards you. Now, before starting your work, move all the beads away from this bar called the answer bar. That would be the zero position of the abacus. You can move the beads away with your fingers, or if your abacus has a reset button, take advantage of that. This is the zero position of the abacus. When adding or subtracting numbers, you'll be moving beads either towards or away from the answer bar. The final answer is found by adding up the value of all the beads that touch the bar and hence its name, the answer bar. Now the beads that are in the upper deck or section are called the heaven beads or the upper beads. And the beads that are in the lower deck are called the earth beads or the lower beads. In our lessons moving forward, we'll be identifying these beads as upper beads and lower beads. On the abacus, each column identifies a place value. In our lessons, we'll be using the rightmost column as the ones place or the units place. To the left of it is the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, and so on. And you may come across content on the internet that identifies the ones place as somewhere in the middle of the abacus. We, however, believe that students find it easiest to learn when they use the rightmost column on the abacus as the ones or units place. If you're wondering about these dots, we use them when working with decimals, but that is way down the road, so we'll skip that for now and focus on the basics in this lesson. Well, let's do a quick recap on parts of the abacus that we need to know today. This is the answer bar. Beads above the answer bar are called the upper beads. Beads below the answer bar are called the lower beads. This is the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, and so on. Well, let's do a quick roll call. By this time, you should have an abacus. But for some reason, if you don't, for a limited time, we're providing an abacus similar to this at no additional cost to you if you join one of our monthly or annual memberships. You can also purchase an abacus directly if you look around online. And check out our other video that shows what to look for when picking the right abacus. In the next lesson, we'll discuss how to put numbers and read numbers of the abacus. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.